let's take a look at what is happening in the markets and we start off with the JSC that seems to have extended its losses today. Um, even though it was met with mixed sentiment from the Asian markets, and this is amid a historical moment in Japan, uh, in Japan. we did uh, see the Bank of Japan ending its ultra-loose monetary policy where it hiked interest rates for the first time in 17 years. Uh, but of course, we are seeing the JSC at the moment. A uh, sea of red over there with the all share declining Almost eight tenths of a percent. The resources ten complex carrying the bulk of those losses, declining more than one and a half percent. Followed by the industrial twenty five, with a loss of almost nine tenths of a percent, and the financial fifteen carrying the least of those losses, uh, shedding four tenths of a percent on that front. Let's take a look at what is happening stateside and on that front. Uh, Wall Street. Um, anticipating the Fed's interest rate decision, of course, that will be coming out tomorrow evening. Uh, the Fed does start its uh, two-day meeting, uh, monetary policy meeting uh, today for March. Now, of course, uh, investors, they're expecting um, interest rates to be kept unchanged. Quite a mixed picture that we are seeing over there uh, with the S&P 500 uh, slightly down by a tenth of a percent. The tech-heavy Nasdaq with a loss of more than half a percent. The Dow. Uh, backing that overall trend with a gain there of more than four tenths of a percent. Let's take a look at what is happening with markets across the Atlantic. A sea of a green over there. We are seeing those markets rebounding from the losses that we did see yesterday. Uh, the FTSE 100 up slightly 0.04 percent. The CAC 40 with a gain of almost four tenths of a percent. And the DAX relatively flat, just 0.03 percent above that flat line. Let's take a look at what is happening on the currency scene and we start off with how the RAND is doing against some of the major currencies. We have seen some slight strength coming through to the RAND. Of course, yesterday we did see uh, the RAND crossing over that 19 RAND mark against the US dollar. Now just above 18 RAND at 90 against the dollar. Against the pound at 24 RAND 6 cents and against the euro at 20 RAND 55 cents. Let's take a look at how the other currency pairs are doing there with the euro dollar at 1.08, a pound dollar at 1.27. And the yen, even though we did get that hike in interest rates, they're showing some weakness against the US dollar, just below 151 against that currency.